hey guys welcome to my channel if you're new to my channel thank you for watching if you're an oldie moldy welcome back i'm gonna do another doll unboxing to the best of my ability i don't have the right setup to do this and i'm not really willing to invest look at my hair i'm not really willing to invest in doing the proper setup because i don't this is a hobby it's not like a full-time thing for me i'm not trying to be youtube famous that ain't me that's never gonna be me i do this like town town hall style you know where we sit down and we just chill and we relax and we have a good time and we don't take ourselves too seriously because why should we this is just a hobby it's for fun it's legit for fun and i know some of my oldie moldies might not exactly know what a rainbow high doll is and this is a rainbow high doll this is what i do this is what i collect and they are beautiful, exquisite dolls. And I'm just gonna hold her up, talk to you, and show you. So the tagline for Rainbow High is always, let your true colors shine. And this is Delilah Fields. Uh, you can find the cartoon on YouTube, but it's kind of not really like a cartoon. It's more like a, like a watered down version of a Pixar thing. Cartoons aren't really like cartoons nowadays. They're more like, um, lack of a better word, Pixar-ish. You know what I mean? You're not, they're not like Tom and Jerry. You know, back in the day, Tom and Jerry was very like, that's a cartoon. This isn't really like a cartoon per se. So here we go with her. I think she's beautiful because she has glasses and she's supposed to have albinism. So her eyelashes are white. And I really like her. And the thing about this, I'm going to be really snarky. You could literally put glasses on any doll. It doesn't really make her special. I got her because I really, really like her whole aesthetic and the color. And I like the fact that, you know, she is um, representing, representing, I can't even speak here. She's representing albinism, which is, you know, cool. You know, the whole diversity thing. So this is what the back looks like. And her focus, I believe, is creative writing. Yes. And the box is a little messy. I love their box. I mean, look at the box. The box is so beautiful with the pictures down here. And, you know, the rainbow high right here. And when I went to the event, a lot of people didn't have a good time at the event. I had a good time at the event. I wasn't expecting much. I knew that the dolls were going to be sold out. And I knew that the dolls, if they're sold out, you'll be able to get them eventually. It's not really the end of the world. I mean, it is if you paid all that money and you got nothing. I can see that point. But, you know, the dolls will be available. Um, I picked them up there because I actually don't like going to stores. Believe it or not, I don't like shopping at stores. If I can buy something online, I will buy it online. And I know you guys think I shop a lot, which I do, but I really prefer shopping online. It's, I really do. I got a lot of tape on here. Okay. So all you have to do is just get the tape from every side and then it should be able to pop open real easily. So there's tape and you just, you should be able to pop it open real easily just getting the scissors and going all around the tape side. So... I really had fun at the event and see there's tape right here and you just gotta kind of snip it. It's a pretty easy box once you learn how to do it. And so there she is. So I had a great time at the event and I had a lot of fun. I'm gonna get my tiny scissors. I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. We went to uh, Jack in the Box for lunch. This is my last day off. And then I go back to nanny life. And you won't be seeing this room. You'll be seeing the other room that I live at. If you're new to my channel, I'm a nanny. And I had a few days off, so I got to spend it in my toy room. And now I'm going to be going back to my other room where I'm a living nanny. And how many times can I say that? And that's kind of, that'll be my life for a few days. So I'm just going to snip her and I, you know, so a lot of people are like, oh, she's got glasses. Well, you could get glasses for any doll and put them on them. I mean, 
kind of undo that, undo her hair. I do think that I am going to, well, we'll see how glued her hair is. I'm going to dress her and have fun with her. Uh, Leela, I'm not, and I won't because, like I said, space buns. And let's see if I could get her out. I'm going to do the whole. And I think, I think she's tucked in here too. Is she tucked in here? I can't tell. Yep, she's tucked in. So. Let's see. Is she tucked in here? Let's see. All her hair. Uh, is she? Yep, she is. Oh, got it out. Her head fell off. Oof, her hair is really long. I never show you the comb because I could care less about the comb. I really could. I, I don't care about the comb. Oh my gosh, she's got a lot of hair. She's got a lot of hair and her hand fell off. So let me get her hand back on. Wow, the peg is long. Okay. Oh, she's beautiful. She's so pretty. She does have some gel in the bottom of her hair. Um, a little crunchy here. A little crunchy here. So I'm, I might actually just wet her hair a little bit. And actually, let me show you something really quick. Because this is a really good tip. Been that I'm a dog. Ah! you guys fell hold on did i not tell you i am not a professional i'm not a professional i don't even try to pretend to be a professional so let me tell you guys something i have a lot of dolls if you guys are like me if you have a lot of dolls you might have a fail fix comb can't even hold it you might have a fail fix comb so these fail fix combs actually work really well to get out the crunchiness of the hair because if you remember fail fix dolls are the dolls that you have to make over and you have to brush out all the gunk out of their hair. I particularly wash their hair. I didn't brush it out, I washed it. But if you're lazy, and I'm thinking I'm gonna be a little lazy, all you have to do, and if you're an American Girl Collector, you probably have one of these combs. So these are one of the metal combs that you use on your curly doll, on your dolls that have curly hair. So any dolls that have curly hair, you use this and so it's just a metal pick and that's probably what i'm going to do to her hair and just kind of pick it through but i'm not going to go out it dry the way i'm doing it now i'm going to go in with my concoction of leave-in conditioner you can usually find this at walmart and it's literally a spray so it's a spray leave-in conditioner and what you're going to do is you're going to put a little bit of um the spray leave-in conditioner in a bottle and then add some water to it shake it up and spray it on your doll's hair for flyaways and to kind of tame it so let me see if i can do this right now it's going to take this i'm going to liberally do that and i'm going to see if i could just brush it out like that i think i can might need a little bit more but I think I can. Let me pause this real quick. Now for Delilah, I probably will wash her hair because there is a lot of fallout. I was able to brush it and make it look good, but I think I am going to wash her hair only because her hair is shedding a lot. And it's okay if the doll's hair shed, that, that's natural. But I don't like the ends of it right here. Um, see how it's coming out it's coming out a lot so i think once i wash it all of the hair um will be a lot better because a lot of it will just shed during the shampoo process so i think i'm actually going to wash her she's beautiful and i do really want to do something with her hair um take it off of this and this so like i said it does work you can brush out her hair but for me since it's shedding so much I want to give it a good uh, shampoo wash, get all of that extra hair out of there because um, once I wash it, it actually gets rid of all of the shedding because there, it's doll hair. It's it's gonna all doll hair sheds, all of it does. Um, there is always some 
fall out when it comes to doll hair. I don't know why. I don't know the science of dolls. It just does. And I did take out her earrings because whenever I'm playing with the dolls, the earrings get lost. So I take them out. That is a bee earring. Super, super cute. These are what her glasses look like. I took off the string that attaches themselves. They do fit nicely without the little string. So it's a perfect fit. Um, her outfit is beautiful. It's lace. It's one of the most beautiful dresses that I've seen. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. It's really, really intricate and nice. And the belt has a little rainbow on it. And her boots are my favorite. Her boots are my absolute favorite. And they have lace socks. And yeah, she's going to be so much better once I actually wash her hair, which I'm going to do immediately after I finish this video. And then I'm just, because look at, look at all the shedding. So, and if you do watch these dolls, make sure that you have a hair drain. You know how they sell those little hair drains where it catches all of the hair? And that way it doesn't go down the sink and clog your sink because that has happened before where I haven't used one of those little drainers. It has actually clogged the sink and uh, you don't want to do that. So get one of those hair cloggers. What is it? it it's like a little... Um, something that you put in the sink it's round and it catches all of the hair I don't know what it's called but anyway I make sure that I use that did she have another bracelet I don't know if she came with another bracelet I don't know she might have she did her bracelets came off when her hand fell off so those are pretty let me see this okay she doesn't come with another bracelet she just comes with this one which is really really pretty um i really really love her i think she's gorgeous but she does need to be washed her hair for me her hair needs to be washed because it's just it got it it still feels a little sticky I, I don't like it you could get away with not washing it and do what i did right here with the leave-in conditioner and then you too can also do this if you want to get some of her curls in a trick for getting the curls back in is just kind of wrapping it around your finger holding it for a few seconds and then just kind of releasing it and it kind of gets back the curl so you could do that you know or kind of like that and then it just kind of gets back into the style you know so you could finger curl it again just kind of by wrapping it around holding it releasing it and it'll bounce back i don't know if her curl is going to last when i wash it i'm not going to do a boil wash but kind of just kind of just gets it back so i don't know if i'm going to actually um i don't do boil washes i do cold water so her curls might last kind of just gets it back so, I don't know. I really like her, though. I think she's beautiful. But for me, I need to wash her hair. Shoes are absolutely perfect. They're really well painted. I'm surprised because normally Rainbow High doesn't do a good shoe to save their life. And, yeah, I love it. So, she's the one that I got at the pop-up event. Her face is good. Her face has very, very light freckles. I like her. I like her a lot. She's actually one of my favorites. Okay, so now let's see the outfit. Let's see. Stand is in here. Shoes. even running mm -hmm. let's try and get this out without this is like such a catastrophe of weirdness okay so got the second outfit looks really really cute really nice you guys can go see some other people who actually do this better than I do and that's not to say that these videos that I do are horrible but they're not you know top tier toy tuber quality we're just sitting here having a discussion. 
we're having fun, we're looking at the clothes. I'm not sponsored by MGA, nobody sends me free products. So this is my first impressions. Absolutely love, love, love these pants. They have daisies all over them with a little crop top and they're really cute. I just don't wanna open the plastic because you know, I'm not ready to put them away yet. And then these little shoes are super, super cute as well. Daisies all over them. This reminds me of the Great Gatsby. <laughs> I don't know why that era, that genre, but I cannot believe, look at this. Underneath her skirt is a little tool right there. Isn't that adorable? And so you have the really nice lace embroidered uh, flowers. These are not for kids. This kid's gonna rip this thing to shreds and the, it's just gonna be a hot mess. These are actual lace socks. The buckles on this thing is amazing. Her hair is absolutely astonishing. Everything about her is top tier. There is no, she's well rooted. She's pretty well rooted. She's better than most. She's a heck of a lot better than most. Oh my God, and I love her makeup. I love her lipstick. I didn't get to choose what she looked like because they're just like, what doll do you want? And then they, they bring it to you, so there was that. But I'm okay. I'm not a crazy doll collector. I mean, I am. I, but I'm not where like I'm analyzing her face to make sure that her bangs are properly placed and her eyeballs are centered and her lipstick is not. I'm not that person. I'm like, it's a good looking doll. And that's pretty much all I do. I'm like, eh, it's okay. And then I pretty much walk away and I, and I take it as is. You know, I, I love everything about her. I think she's adorable. I think she's really cute. And I do really want to wash her hair. Her hair is just not making me happy. So, love the little, I love how they're doing this now. I love how they're doing that. The little um, articulation is good. Yep. Don't ask. I'm tired. This video, you didn't see the mishaps and the failings and the lost earring that went who knows where and I finally found it. I'm going to tell you the truth. I've never not told you the truth. This earring went missing because I failed to take out the earrings before I did the video. Got lost in her hair and I'm looking on the floor. I'm looking on the desk and I'm like, where the hiddly hay is her earring? And I kind of shook out her hair to see maybe if it got in there and it was there. So yeah, I take out the earrings all the time. The only time that they have their earrings is when they are on the stand, not like on the jury stand, you know, but <laughs> on the stand. So yeah, totally, totally love this doll. Um, she's phenomenal. Love everything about her. She's got to get her hair washed. And with that being said, I love you guys to Reese's Pieces and Beyond. Hit that like button, subscribe, jump on the friendship bandwagon. I noticed a lot of you people aren't subscribed. Why aren't you subscribed? It's free. It costs nothing. I don't, you know, ask anything of it other than that you subscribe, which is absolutely the best thing to do because I upload a lot. And if you don't subscribe to me, you're not going to know when I upload videos. And I upload videos pretty darn frequently. So you want to be in the know when I put on a show. No? Okay. Anyway, I love you guys so much and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.